Hey everyone, it's the daughter of Lilith. Sorry it's dark, I'm outside. Um, I'm just here with my thoughts and with you guys. And something I've been wanting to talk about on this channel for a while that I'm ready to talk about, I guess, is um, what, I, what I guess I call spiritual predation. And that can mean a lot of things. Um, in the case that I'm talking about, it's something I'm seeing a lot in the occult community online, but m even more so now that I live in Salem, I see it in person, or I witness it, or I hear about it, um, or it happens to someone I know, is that uh, Someone will be new, or maybe not even that new, but young, and into the occult in some way. Usually witchcraft, but that's mainly because I'm around those circles. But it could just be anything in the occult or alternative spirituality. So in my country, um, that would be anything other than Christianity, uh, any spiritual practice and any magical practice. Here, mainly witchcraft uh, of some kind, more magic. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's just go with a story, and it's a true story, and I have many more like this. But um, I was in a store here in Salem. It's not a witchcraft store; it's a touristy gift shop type place, but they sell divination tools as well. Of said divination tools are uh, pendulums and I was in there one day and these tourists came in and they were fucking with the pendulums you know they were picking them up and they were swinging them around with their hands and you know looking stupid as tourists do and the poor girl who was working behind the counter was like oh no 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 that's not how you use them and she was she wanted to demonstrate to them how to use it. Uh, except she said something like, I can't use these ones because I'm not attuned to them or something like that. Which I had never heard of that before. I go up, you know, I, I, like, I'm kind of a show off. And uh, I also, you know, I'm a Virgo. So I think I just come from a place of like, I'm helping, you know, but I probably look like a big egotistical asshole. But anyway, I, I go up there, I, I pick up a, a random one, you know, and I say, like, show me yes, it swings back and forth, show me no, it swings in a circle. You know, that's, what, that's how my pendulums go. I didn't let it go as strong as it normally would, I just did it quickly. And, you know, the tourists are a little weirded out or whatever. And um, the girl, the, the young woman, she was like, uh, said something like, I must have been, she said to me, you must be really powerful, which struck me as odd. Because uh, I would consider pendulums, I've been playing with pendulums since I was, I've been making them as a child, like around three years old, and I could make them swing, and I would actually see my aura extend down to the pendulum and move it. Um, I didn't know what I was looking at at the time, but that's what it was and uh, so I didn't think nothing of it and no one had taught me that's the, that's the big thing no one had taught me how to use it I just did it you know and I was like well who told you uh, that's something that you need to be powerful for because I, I, I don't feel like I'm more powerful than anybody else uh, I said something like that and she was like Oh, well, I have this teacher, and uh, he's teaching me how to attune myself to the pendulum so it works right, and da, da, da. I was like, who's this teacher? And I had never heard of the guy. Um, there's a lot of names in Salem, but I had not heard of this one. Claiming to be some fucking wizard or whatever. I had never heard of a modern-day person ever calling himself a motherfucking wizard. Uh, you're an occultist, or you're a witch, or you're a magician, or you're something, you know? Like, what is a wizard? Um, 
it's an outdated term for what we would call an occultist, really. And uh, so I was like, well, I didn't have any kind of teacher. I've been practicing for 13 years. And I, I do some shit that some people consider advanced. I do some things that people consider basic. You know, I, I'm kind of, I would see myself as intermediate. Um, new to some, always new to something. You know, I'm not an expert in everything. I'm not at that level with everything. But generally with witchcraft, intermediate, you know. And um, <laughs> I was like, well, I didn't have no teacher. Uh not a, not a human one anyway. I, I learned from the gods. I learned from my past lives. I learned from my ancestors. I learned from watching witches that inspired me, you know, and not that they were intending to teach me like a mentor, um, you know, and I just kind of before I left, I was buying something, but before I left, I really, you know, repeated again to her. I said, like, y you are powerful and you don't need anyone to show you how to be powerful. Except the gods, maybe. If you work with them. Yeah, because I think she told me she worked with a Bastet and uh, a, a female deity. I, I want to say Bastet, but I don't, I don't know. And uh, I was like, well, you, you go to her. What do you need him for? That, that man. Wizard, whatever. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, whatever. I, ho I hope she took some of that to heart. But what I, what I want to talk about with that is um, it irritates me, these people who come out of the woodwork. And I have been on the receiving end of this, okay, as a young woman who people often think that I have no experience in witchcraft, which is hilarious. So when they try to tell me the threefold law or whatever, I'm like, listen, honey, I, I am a chaos magician. I go by the facts, okay? That's what being a chaos magician is about, is going by the facts and the, treating magic like a science instead of like a game or like a religion. And um, <laughs> so I've been on the receiving end of people appointing themselves to be my mentor. Uh Here's the thing. Um, it's creepy for someone to claim to, like your spirituality and try to like hook you in without you asking. You know, the teacher should be sought by the student. And traditionally, that's how that goes. You know, if you wanted to join a coven, you had to seek out witches and impress them and gain their trust and be initiated eventually, you know? Um, if you go through everything you need to go through, then you get in. And it's like that with magical orders and whatever else. Uh, but never are they recruiting anyone, you know, despite what the satanic panic might have you believe. Like, that there's no recruit like recruiting effort, really. Um, and when there is, it's because there's a problem. Because the mysteries alone should attract people, in my opinion. If someone, you know, people who are meant for the occult find it. People who are meant for witchcraft can't avoid it. Okay? I couldn't. Um, despite me being very, 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 very skeptical of the possibility of magic and even deities. Um, <laughs> much less the devil who was... Who, who a big part of who I am now. Um, but I um, I don't, in all my years now, I, I realized no one can teach you witchcraft. Witchcraft is something you have to unfold and discover and experience and create yourself, craft yourself. So anyone coming to me claiming to teach witchcraft as a whole, I'm bothered by. I am very bothered by. Because what that translates to me is um, molding someone into being like them. 
you know, molding you to be like them, which is inappropriate for a, a practice of liberation. You know, whether you're on the right hand path or the left hand path with witchcraft, or you see yourself somewhere bobbing in between, um, it's about liberation. It always has been. That's why mainstream culture is so threatened by it. Not just Christianity, secular people too. It's amazing to me how many people tell me they don't believe in what I do, but they're still afraid of me. Why? You know, if you think that I don't have any power, why are you afraid? There's a huge stigma still around witchcraft. And um, that's why, you know, especially where I live, people whitewash it so much and, and reduce it. But really, it's always been a practice for people who've been disadvantaged in some way um, even in pre-christian times uh, when people trusted the wise women and trusted their healers they were still fearful you know I, I the spirit world scares people who are not attuned to it so if you're called to it, you, there, you don't need anyone else to bring you to it. That doesn't make any sense. You should never pull anyone into it who isn't meant for it. And everyone's connection to that is personal. Deeply, deeply, deeply personal. And that's something I appreciate a lot about the left-hand path and about Satanism and Luciferianism because we understand that we all have a black flame, that we're all different um and the essence of one's black flame is the essence of oneself and to and to assimilate to be someone else and to be someone you're not is to extinguish that flame and that is equivalent to death you know permanent death fuck <laughs> death of the spirit so I take it very I get very angry actually with this uh, mentorship bullshit I've had people come to me uh, asking me to mentor them and I'm always willing to give information I'm not very secretive about much um, in general not just in the occult I know that's widely frowned upon but I'm very open um, because I, have not, I don't feel like I have anything to hide and I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of being a witch. I'm proud of being satanic. I'm proud um, of being a daughter of Lilith, you know, I, I'm proud of that. I don't hide that I'm a sex worker from people. I don't hide that uh, I'm bisexual. I don't hide who I am. You know, I just don't do it. I was never in the closet. I was never, you know, I discovered it for myself. I thought I was straight for a while, but I discovered it for myself. So when people come to me asking, you know, can you teach me this? Can you teach me that? If it's a specific skill, yes, I can show you how I do it. But I would always highly encourage you to find a way to do it yourself. Um, you can start with the way I do it and then find your own way. But I'm never going to put my whole practice onto you. Uh, if you want me to show you how I read tarot intuitively, I can show you that very quickly. Um, I learned from someone else. I watched him do it, and he was very good. And so I took what he did, and it was very efficient, and I passed that skill on. But I don't tell you how to be a tarot reader and what your ethics are and what your... Uh, what you will or won't do, what you will or won't read about, how much you want to charge, if anything, and what decks you want to fucking use, and how you acquire those decks. I'm not going to fucking tell you uh, like how to do all that shit. That's up to you. Sorry, some people were walking by and I was like, what? Uh, anyway. <clears throat> you have to be the one to do it you know it, it, in any spiritual or magical practice this is your the development of your soul the development of your spirit your black flame 
you. And it does affect your body. It affects your finances. It affects your relationships. So it's all of you. It's not just your soul. And it's not just your spirit. It's all of you. Magic is not supernatural. It's natural. It's everywhere. It can be explained with science. It is science. A lot of uh, scientific developments now are just <laughs> rephrasings of things that indigenous cultures all over the world have known through shamanic gnosis, um, through the practice of magic, through spirit communication. Quantum physics is an example. Uh, particle physics is another example. Uh, like, th There's so much there. When people wave their hand at astrology or whatever, well, I'm like, is it not arrogant to think that these planets of great mass and gravity and plasma do not affect us when the moon shows us how it influences the tides and we are 70% water? The moon alone fucks with us, okay? <laughs> The moon alone, that the itty bitty little moon. So it's not a perfect science, astrology. It's an art form. It's to be interpreted. But it's had, you know, quite a long time to be interpreted. And it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Legitimate astrology, not the sh mainstream shit talking about fucking sun signs. I'm, an, I'm a Libra. I'm a Shut the fuck up. You know, that's, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the real shit, and it's a blueprint. It's not even who, all of who you are. It's a blueprint for your life, but you can see how things can affect you. You can anticipate when things will affect you. And it's very helpful. But, I, you know, I'm not an astrologer. But I, I learn what I can about astrology because it interests me and it helps me. I didn't let someone else tell me how to be an astrologer. I didn't care. I didn't want to become an astrologer. I just wanted to understand my own fucking chart. Um, I'm still learning to understand some shit about it. Anyway, back on topic. There's no reason for someone to take over your practice and, and, and be your mentor if you didn't ask them to be. It's not right. And it's not a coincidence, in my opinion, that I see it coming from a lot of older men towards younger women. I'm sure that some younger men are also on the receiving end from whatever gender, but um, and there are some older women here that do that shit too they're not off the hook but it's a pattern with these older men trying to mentor younger women and we all know how that goes okay in the physical world and I'm not even making that accusation by the way but I think the spiritual predation is enough to be disgusted by I think that's disgusting and I think it's inappropriate um, some god complex shit really <clears throat> it's parentification as well. It's it's like self-parentifying over someone else who is should be an adult, <laughs> often isn't, but should be an adult. Um, <sighs> and it's not just individuals doing this; it's organizations as well. I can name one franchise that has been a plague on YouTube for a while, but I won't. Not in this video. Those who know, know. <laughs> Those who know, know. But um, I think I'll end it there. And I'll be back with better content for y'all. But if you made it this far, thank you so much. I would love a comment. I would love uh, some interaction. I've been seeing some comments that I've just been enjoying. And uh, subscribers, new subscribers, thank you so much. Um, I'm not very savvy as a YouTuber, but um, 
I, 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 I try to put shit out. I try to put out things that mean something to me and that's more important to me than being consistent. So um, thank you so much for being patient and uh, participating on the channel anyway. So with that, I'll say goodnight.